the very first thing which you have to do is you have to open access mobile application once you open the application you have to complete the login process and we'll do that very quickly so after entering the mpin the login process will be completed or else you can just simply scan your fingerprint and also you can complete the login once you log in the application log into the application or the application is started completely this is the kind of basic interface you will be able to see on your mobile screen so now here on the home screen you have to click on pay option and then you have to go very first option which is send money after selecting send money we are on the next page and on this page you can see there are multiple options present over here also as well as you can see at the bottom where the recent tab is you can see all the account which you have added in the application as pay so if you don't know how to add a pay you can simply click on add pay now for example i don't want to transfer money to any of these i, I want to transfer money to uh, other account so you have to click on add pay you have to select other bank pay and then you can simply enter the bank details over here as you can see you can confirm and then you can simply add pay and that pay will be visible over here then you can simply select that pay and you can do the payment so currently i am just going to select pay from here so on the next page you can see we have to enter the amount you can select any remark if you want to then in payment mode you get three option which is instant payment for instant payment you can choose imps over here and for standard payment you can choose neft and if you want to pay later then also you can choose neft now there will be some charges if you want to do instant payment which is imps for example if i am entering 100 rupees over here and if i choose instant pay then after doing all the things you have to simply click on proceed and on the next page you can just simply confirm all the details and here you can see that for imps charges you need to pay extra 2.50 rupees so that is an additional cost which you have to bear while doing the transaction through imps but if you do that uh, via neft so if i select standard payment neft and if i click on proceed then you can see there are no additional charges so the transaction will be completely free only 100 rupees will be debited from your account which you have selected so if you want to do a free transaction without spending any extra money you can select any ft the only thing is you have to at least wait for half an hour to get that payment transferred into the pays account that is the only thing and in imps the payment will be instant so it depends on you why which payment mode you have to go i have selected any ft let's click on confirm and on the next page guys we have to enter the m pin and the transaction will be done so i'll do that as i've entered the m pin now you can see transaction is successful so now you can see the payment is successful you can see the account details to which the payment has been done from which account the payment is done that details is also here if you scroll down you will get the payment details so guys these are the simple steps you have to follow if you want to do imps or any ft money transfer in access mobile application that's pretty much it for today's video guys if you like this video hit that like button share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will see you all in the next one thank you